What's up YouTube? Brandon here with BIOS. Today I'm bringing you a how-to video and this how-to video is the how to get a Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color emulator on your new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now if you have it on your iPhone 5 and 5S or iPad mini or any other type of device uh, the website still works for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and it still works for iOS 8 so if you know how to do it there go ahead and grab it um, the link will be in the description uh, but let's open up Safari and uh, we're gonna go up to our browser and we're gonna type in GBA for iOS app.com so GBA for iOS app Dot com. And we're going to run this. Once it loads, we're going to see this screen. We're going to click Dumble GBA for iOS 2.0. And we're going to click the most updated one, which is 2.0.7. So once we click download, we click install. And when we click install, we're going to see the app is starting to download here. We're going to run over to settings right now. We're going to go to general. So if we're going to go to general, we're going to say retry because this is how to fix this. Uh, we're going to go over to general, we're going to go to date and time, we're going to click off on set automatically, and we're going to set the date back to somewhere in 2012, so keep scrolling until you think so. Uh, I think 2009 is pretty good, what do you think? Um, so once you scroll all the way over here in 2009, you're going to go over here, and obviously you see the application has uploaded here, so we're going to click on it, we're going to say trust. So we want to play Game Boy games on here. So it says welcome to GBA. Once you open the app, you're going to close. You're going to go back over to your settings. And then you're just going to set automatically because without the date and time correctly, uh, you're not going to be able to access the website and be able to download your ROMs. Um, so to download ROMs, you're just going to go to, to that little search button, download whichever ROMs you want to use. Uh, for this video description, I'm going to download, uh, obviously, like everyone does, Pokemon Emerald, which I have the copy of Pokemon Emerald. Um, I own it myself, so this is not uh, pirated. I think that's why a lot of people download Pokemon ROMs, is because they own the Pokemon game. And uh, So we're going to go over to Cool ROM. Go down here, and what's really nice about this is the download is when it uh, is like within the app itself, so you don't need to go anywhere. Obviously, the name comes up; you can change it to whatever you want, and then up here it downloads. Uh, one of the coolest features of this is the ability to change your controller skin. So after this loads, I'm just going to load it up, and uh, there you go. It sees that it works, and the sound works. Everything works here, and it works wonderful. Um, so we're going to return the main menu, go to the settings. Uh, soon we'll be wireless linking, so you can you can be able to battle people across uh, different devices, which is I'm excited for because that's kind of cool. Uh, push notifications. You can change your controller skins, your Game Boy Advance. To do that, you just add more, and you can download different skins. So, for instance, I'm going to download this one for the Game Boy Advance. It already downloaded. Select that, and that's what's going to be in my portrait mode of my Game Boy Advance. So when I go back to the game itself, you see how the controller changed, and now that's my controller. So uh, this is really cool. You can even do the event distribution. So I'm going to click on that, and the event distribution loads, and now there I can get Riley Shiny Trico from the event. So that's pretty. That's a new uh, addition that I didn't know was on this, uh, coming from iOS 7 to iOS 8, and I can't be any more excited. So. Um, after you're done with this, uh, that's how you get the GBA for iOS app on your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll check you guys later. Peace.